Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, today, what we're going to do is going to have a product review. And uh, basically, I bought these vacuum bags to use uh, for packing uh, for my upcoming cruise. Since I'm going to be having a lot of bulky items, sweaters, sweatshirts, and uh, that kind of thing. I figured it'd be a good idea to get use these vacuum bags that I've seen other people use. And so I ordered these off of uh, Amazon. And so uh, we're gonna test them out and uh, see how they work. All right, so first thing is when you take the, uh, the bags out of the uh, box, they're gonna come in a, little container like this and then the particular brand that I bought it comes with a little pump uh, to help you suck the air out of the bag and compress it but from what I found the the pump that they provided I you know I tried it every which way I could figure and I couldn't get it to work so uh, just know that if you buy this particular brand and it has the pump that comes with it uh, the pump might not work but you know that wasn't a big deal for me because i planned on using a uh, an actual vacuum cleaner to to suck the air out so i wanted to me and plus the, the the price was reasonable enough i went ahead and bought it anyway i wasn't really looking for the pump so so basically you're going to get the uh, bags these are i got the medium sized bags and as you can see it's pretty good size and yeah, the bag comes with a little uh, valve, and you just screw the cap off, and uh, that's what that's where you you know suck the air out to compress it, and then you've got basically a, a ziplock top. So what we're gonna do is uh, I've got some some uh, sweatshirts that I'm gonna you know test it out with and uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'll go ahead and grab those. All right, so we take your sweatshirts and I'll slide them in one at a time. These are kind of bulky, so that's the reason why I was wanting to uh, get to use the uh, bag. So then you just uh, use the Ziploc seal. that way uh, you know you got a good seal on it then you unscrew the cap on the valve and I have a uh, handheld uh, personal vacuum that I'm going to be using so just take the little attachment off and then stick the end of the vacuum on the, the valve As you can see, the handheld vacuum sucked all the air out, compressed it, and uh, so I'll take the cap, screw it back on the valve, and it's not leaking any air. Uh, you know, the box, the directions on the box says that if, uh, you know, as these bags get older and if you happen to get a tear in it or something and you hear uh, the hissing of the air escaping, you know, you got like a leak. And it says you can pretty much just slap some scotch tape or duct tape or whatever and the bag will still be good so it's supposed to be easily repaired but this is my first time using these so we'll see how it holds up in, uh, all the time and uh, as you can see it shrank these down to a compact size which uh, I 
can fit in my suitcase pretty easy. And, uh, you know, hopefully that'll, that'll help me save space uh, for my upcoming trip. So uh, that's pretty much it. And as you can see, it was pretty easy. And I'm going to have the uh, all the details in case you're interested. I'll put the Amazon uh, link uh, in this video uh, so you can see the price and, 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 you know, see what you should look for on there. So hopefully you found this uh, informative and... Uh, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll let you know uh, when I get back from my trip if these uh, actually work. If you got any questions, questions, uh, leave them in the comments section. And uh, I guess uh, everybody have a good day, and uh, we'll see you around the way.